hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so so far we discussed uh, about uh, the basic introductory concepts related to the subject of fluid mechanics and hydraulic machines and some of the basic introductory concepts related to fluids and i said that uh, in the upcoming videos we will be discussing about the properties of fluids in detail in separate videos okay so there are various uh, basic properties associated with fluids if we try to do them in one video uh, it will create uh, it will it will take a lot of time and uh, it can be confusing so we'll discuss about uh, the fluid properties in chunks in separate videos so in this video we'll discuss about uh, the properties of density and specific gravity of fluids okay so the density this property of fluid can be uh, represented can be understood in various ways and depending on the application a particular property or a, a the type of this density is considered okay so that when it comes to density of fluids the following things are considered mass density weight density and specific volume so first let us discuss mass density now it is the mass density which is generally uh, called as density when we say density of something it generally means mass density okay so the mass density of a fluid be it a liquid or gas is defined as the mass per unit volume of the fluid at a standard temperature and pressure okay the mass per unit volume at a standard temperature and pressure it means per unit volume how much of mass is accumulated how much of mass is there in one vo unit volume of the fluid so it is the ratio of the mass of a fluid to its volume so it is denoted by this symbol rho and the mathematical representation is mass density is equal to the ratio between mass and volume which is m by v okay so in si units uh, it has uh, the unit of kg per meter cube kg unit of mass and meter cube the unit of volume now the standard uh, for our density of water it is generally taken as 1000 kg per meter cube okay the example so this is about mass density okay the mass per unit volume okay at a standard temperature and pressure next is the weight density so the weight density is the weight per unit volume okay at a standard temperature and pressure so it is the ratio between the weight of the fluid to its volume so it is denoted by the symbol w so it can simply be calculated by multiplying the mass density with acceleration due to gravity small g so the weight density it is given by this uh, mathematical formula we all know that it is the ratio between weight and volume weight of any substance is given by mass multiplied with the acceleration due to gravity okay so this is the weight density weight by volume which is equal to rho g because mass by volume is mass density which is equal to rho so we can simply calculate it by multiplying the acceleration due to gravity with the mass density so this is the weight density now the unit of weight density is newton per meter cube so newton is the unit si unit of weight and for example the weight density of water is 9.81 into 1000 newton per meter cube okay so we have discussed mass density mass per unit volume of a fluid weight density weight per unit volume of a fluid then we have is the 
specific volume okay so the specific volume of a fluid is the volume per unit mass okay it is the opposite of the mass density okay in mass density it was mass per unit volume okay in mass density it was mass per unit volume or mass by volume ratio between mass and volume in specific volume it is the volume per unit mass it is the volume occupied by a unit mass of a fluid so it is the ratio between the volume of the fluid and the mass of the fluid okay so this is the specific volume so it is the reciprocal of mass density and the unit is meter cube per kg si unit so we have discussed about the all the aspects related to density mass density weight density and specific volume then we have is the specific gravity specific gravity of a fluid okay <clears throat> the specific gravity of a fluid how can we define it it is the ratio between the weight density of that fluid okay the specific gravity of a particular fluid is the ratio between the weight density of that fluid to the weight density of a standard fluid okay so the standard fluid it is taken as water in case of liquids and air in case of gases so we know weight density we have discussed this is the weight density which is the weight per unit volume of a fluid at a standard temperature and pressure so it is a ratio between the weight of a fluid to its volume this is the weight density the mathematical representation the formula the specific gravity is the ratio of the specific gravity of a particular fluid is the weight density of that fluid to the weight density of a standard fluid which is water in case of liquids and air in case of gases so this is the uh mathematical representation of specific gravity it is denoted by the symbol s for liquids for any liquid a particular liquid the specific gravity is given by the weight density of that liquid by the weight density of water for a particular gas the weight density is given by the weight density of that gas divided by the weight density of air okay so it is a dimensionless uh, dimensionless quantity because uh, we are uh, taking the ratio of similar uh, properties weight density by weight density so it will have no units okay it is dimensionless so this is the specific gravity of a fluid so here we have discussed uh, two properties of uh, fluids first is the density and in density we discussed about uh, the various aspects of density such as mass density weight density specific volume and then we discussed about specific gravity okay so i hope you like this video and in the upcoming videos we'll be discussing about uh, other properties of fluids as well so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering Have a great day. Thank you very much.